I fell off a couple times. It's blowing 20. Where do you sit on the boat? Sorry, when it's what? It's blowing 20. Where do you sit on the boat? Downwind? Downwind. Uh, in that corner. Like the back can you, corner. Can you show me exactly? Yeah. Yeah, normally we have these, you know, the center strap things. Yeah. So I'll sort of tuck my leg into that one, and that's my position. I don't want to be out too far. Because if I've shape. got Fergie out, then that's that's enough, you know. And then the VMG works out best. If I'm sitting here, if I start sitting up here and you start going a little bit too hot, you're going too high. So the boat sort of sets its own angle by me sitting here and Fergie sitting out there. Then the, you have the right VMG. If I start going, you know, sitting here downwind, and we're going too hot. Okay. Just there yeah, the main the sheet, the main sheet can't track through there. Well, it can. It's not so bad. We've had it a few times. If you have to go hot, then I'll sit out there, and he'll just trim around me. But trim around your back. And Fergie's yeah. weighing more than you, right? No. No, no you're what? Four kilos lighter or something? Yeah. So if you have a crew that's really light, and it's super that's Yeah, then you have to adjust it. So then... Make your skipper go on the wire. Yeah, that's no. what you were hoping. <laughs> that's what you wanted. No, no, that's that's really hard to do. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, <laughs> no, but he might have to sit out further. You know, because it's, it's sort of like the the riding moment. Yeah, you want a total riding moment, basically. But you're always going to be a little bit disadvantaged if it's windy stuff, because on the wire, like if you're pulling on the rig rather than sitting on the side. Then you've got more leverage on the on how much you pull the bow up. You know, you can just put 100 kilos here, but it's not the same as you know 75 or something. Yeah, you know, on the back. Does it does the skipper stay on the wire um, rounded A and uh, no. on the set? No, I see it a lot for people stay on the wire because yeah, it's gone so fast. And then they just do a really shitty thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a classic inside. video, if you, there's a really good one of the worlds in uh, Belgium on the, what day was it, the Wednesday? It was a windy day. <coughs> if you go on the world's 2009 website, there's a thing that says the windy day or something. And you see everyone come around the top mark. And I reckon the top 20 boats, or 15 boats, are all coming around and everyone's getting off the wire before the before the next mark, before the, the bear away mark. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you start seeing the, the rest of the fleet coming through and they're like twin trapping, like noise to the thing and then they do the bear away on the wire and then they cartwheel and you just, <laughs> you just lose a little a level yeah. of control yeah. at that point and it's there's no nothing to be gained like the boat's going to do 18 knots or whatever it's doing yeah. when you're on the wire or not you know it's just it's just this angle that's it doesn't yeah. matter you know it's better to be in control as soon yeah. as you're around the moon mark you're off the wire no on the on the before. reach then i'll stay on the wire but before the bear away for sure i'm coming off the wire can you go through the bear away sequence on the helm? Yeah. Main sheet. There's not an offset. Mac, there's not an offset. I know you always have offsets. Oh, yeah. But if there's not an offset, would you still come there? Yep. Yeah, because the bear, unless it's, because all that's happening is that you, you saddle the wrong way. Yeah, you want to turn the thing down. Unless you need to roll over somebody, then, yeah, you can stay on the wire a little bit longer. But the most important is to point the thing where it's got to go rather than, you know, reaching somewhere else. Feels faster, but for sure it's, the VFG is not so good. So, but I, normally I'll, I'll be on. I'll, you know, be say you're reaching. I'll be standing back here somewhere. I've got. I'll have the mansion on the reach, pretty much all the time. Yeah. You give me the mansion. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah, but so when we've got to do maneuvering and stuff, then they so give me the main sheet. And actually, I like it because it makes me feel more stable on the boat. It's like pulling me to the boat sure. at that stage. And then, uh, and then we just make the call whether. Uh, whether he goes in first or I go in first, and that's really dependent on uh, on what's, how close we are to the mark and what's got to happen. So if he needs to get set up and hoist the kite, then I'll stay out longer, Fergie will go in and do the tack line and all the bits and pieces like that and get that done. But for us, it's it's really we talk about it a lot. But, um, yeah, I'll, you know, so say, for example, Fergie comes off the wire first and he's getting the kite set up, then, you know, I'll stay out as long as I feel I need to be to keep the boat going, but I really don't do the turn down on the wire. So I'll come off the wire. Are you using the main sheet as yeah, you Yeah, as off? I come off the wire, I let the main sheet go so that the heel angle stays the same. And then I'll re then I cleat the main sheet again for the actual turn down. And then I'm pretty much straight on to pulling on the up. Uh -huh. So I'm, as I'm starting to turn down, <laughs> then that board unloads. 
and then I pop the, the up and then uh, and then that's pretty much it. If it's nice, if it's not too windy, and I can sort of creep forward and stand over the windward board, I'll pull it up as well, and then I'll wait for him to hoist. It takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> Then, yeah, we're going, you know? So it's a pretty natural progression, you know, just sort of come in and, and keep the boat going, but you know, you are easing quite a lot of pain. Because you as you as you're easing you're turning down as well, so it's sort of it's dealing with its, itself, you know, the angle change and the sheet easing are self leveling if you're not sure. You go deep for the voice? Yeah. Yeah, if you can. It's yeah. always better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the yeah. idea the idea? Turn it out. That rope. I rope? Yeah, yeah every wind? level on the deck, downwind? Yeah, pretty much. Every kind of wind? Like five knots to... Uh, no, when it's really light, then you leave it down a little bit more, but pretty much as soon as you press it up and you start, you want to fly a hull, then we've got the board at that height. With the new boards, we still don't know what the hell we're doing with them. So we'd like to try to do things. Because I saw, like, in the last world, like, a lot of people doing, like, different things. Yeah, I saw a lot of Hobie cats doing it. Yeah, well... They were self-adjusting their board height, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <man. laughs> do you ever travel out or do you let release the main sun? No, if, if I, I think it's only one day in the last two years I've let Traveller out to do a bear away and that was the last day at the Worlds in 09, but I think it was blowing 40 knots or something. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. not so much that. It's just I didn't have enough main sheets. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> turn down was horrendous. Really. Oh. Yeah, like we turn, we turn down and we jive set, and then about ten seconds later we got rid of the kite. We were like, okay, we're overstood. So wow. it, was, it was that fresh. You know? wow. So we had to get rid of it. Release the main. Oh, they talked about the backstay and the. Oh, and all. It's not the big deal, not for the bear way, but sailing down when we actually sail sometimes with a pretty loose main sheet, you know. I think the, the Nacromast is pretty stiff compared to, or pretty strong compared to the the other boats out there. So we really haven't had any stress with the, with breaking mast down with. Um, we sail sometimes, you know, with it. I'll trim, I'll ease the main, like if the nose goes in, then I'll dump the main and I don't have any concern about it. So it's kind of good. Rental, right? <laughs> yeah, there is that. There is that factor, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my man. Nice diving in Akron. Nice diving in Akron. Nice diving in Akron. I think it's actually. I've seen a photo of it once. <laughs> no, they are, these things are pretty good in that. When it's windy, it's, they're pretty good downwind. It's, it's pretty hard to beat. Yeah. But. But I think you can uh, you can for sure trim the main down with it's it's a good thing to do even on the on the Capricorns and the Hobies and stuff but you know, don't throw sheet at it but you, know, you don't have to have it as a backstay it's not physically holding the mast up. You know.